Hi, my name is Kevin Heinel. I'm a patent attorney with the firm of Brooks Cushman in Southfield, Michigan. Brooks Cushman is a member of SBAM, and this is my opportunity to provide you with a little bit of Wednesday wisdom. Uh, my wisdom comes from the standpoint of an intellectual property attorney who has advised small businesses and large regarding protecting the creations of their businesses. My first piece of advice is to be sure that you have an agreement with all employees who might be involved in developing software, creating original works, or making inventions. Also anyone who is, is given access to confidential information should also be made to sign an agreement when they are employed by your business. It's also important to review purchase orders and other purchase documentation for provisions relating to intellectual property that can greatly affect your rights. Second item of wisdom is that businesses should be aware of what types of intellectual property are available to protect their inventions, trademarks, confidential information, and creative materials that are made by employees of the business. Almost every business has a name. For example, this business DM, is, uh, is DMF Bait, and DMF Bait has registered their name, DMF Bait, with the Patent Office and obtained a certificate of trademark registration, looking like this one here. This is for a different product, but this is a certificate of trademark registration that's issued by the federal government. Trademarks uh, can protect your name, your company name. It can protect your website address. It can protect your symbols or logos. And for example, DMF at Bait has a uh, one of my favorite logos. They have the logo our fish, you can't see it on this, but it says our worms catch fish or die trying and that has been registered federally. Trademarks may be registered or may be unregistered, but if you register your trademark it will maximize the protection available to your brands. Now DMF Bait also has filed for copyright protection on the unique graphic figures that they have on here on their label. They also use it on their website and other promotional materials. And this graphic shows a worm holding a fish and it's very fanciful and is part of their way to protect their business and their creations including copyrights. This is a certificate of copyright registration. This is issued by the Library of Congress and it maximizes your rights to your creative works. Copyrights can cover a wide variety of intellectual property, including they can protect your software, literary works, music and lyrics, sound recordings, graphic works, photographs, audiovisual works, etc. I may have left a couple of out there. Uh, architecture is another type of work that can be protected by copyright. Uh, copyrights create the, uh, protect the creative expression of an idea but they do not protect the idea itself. For that, businesses when in, a, in appropriate circumstances may file for a patent. Now this is an example of a utility patent that was obtained by our firm. And patents can be obtained for new products, new chemical compositions, and new manufacturing methods in addition to other areas such as plants or even design patents may be issued for ornamental design of your products. Finally, trade secrets may be used to protect new product developments. However, trade secret protection only lasts as long as the information can be kept secret. Many times when a product is sold, the secrets are inherently disclosed and you would have no more protection for that idea. Our firm has published a primer that provides additional details regarding patents, copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets, etc. And if you would like to receive a copy of our primer, just call me, Kevin Heinle at Brooks Cushman, or visit our website, brookscushman.com.